I, I was either seven or eight years old, and um, we used to go to this family picnic on Sunday, Sunday uh, afternoon in back in Ohio, and then sometimes they had a polka band. That was my first kind of noticing of drums because they had a drummer, and I was able to watch him play, and I kind of piqued my curiosity immediately. And I remember running up to my mother, you know, saying, "Mom, mom, mom, I, I want to play the drums." But my stepfather wasn't, he was kind of not very encouraging. I just remember him saying, why do you want to play the drums? If you want to play something people want to hear, you can't sit down and play a song. All that did for me was make me say, you wait and you watch, I'm going to do it. Now, my mother was very encouraging. She came and saw me do this little school dance, and I didn't know she was there. And then afterwards, she said, well, I'm going to buy you a set of drums. I started to feel pretty confident when I was 16 or 17 years old about my playing ability because I was figuring out how to do some things that were pretty sophisticated. And I thought I was great. I thought I was best. I mean, I remember thinking, Buddy Rich don't got nothing on me. Well, that's the youth talking. I moved out to Long Beach, California with my girlfriend. Uh, we had an eight-track uh, recording machine that we would do our own demos in this little rehearsal room over in the industrial area off Oxnard in Van Nuys. We had a 1,000-square-foot room. We couldn't pay the electricity bill on because we didn't have any money. So we would go over in the box and open it up, pry it open, and turn it back on. <laughs> And then the electric company come put a chain on it, and we'd go break the chain off and put it on. You know, it was like it was just crazy stuff. I used to go in there at night when I, because I was working part time job at a record store, and I used to go there at night, and there was no electricity, so it was cold. So I, I remember having a couple sweatshirts on just so I could practice by myself and light candles so I could see. I never thought about giving up. I, I just never did. I always felt like, I, 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 you know, I'd go see a drummer that was really great or a band and their drummer, because I always would focus on the drummer. And I'd have, I had friends that would say, God, that guy makes me want to give it up. And I remember thinking, it doesn't make me want to give it up. It makes me want to work harder. And that was always my, I think if anything, that's my, trait is that I just don't give up. I, I try to keep going, keep going, and as opposed to just being a natural, talented, musical person, I'm, it's more of a never give up kind of person. Kevin and his brothers and sisters, back to Ray! Let's play.